really exposes me. It makes me actually really uncomfortable. Like, guys, why is it so focused on my edge? We decided to go to Wingstop now because the queue for McDonald's and everything else is way too long. And they just aren't worth it. And I freaking love Wingstop. smoked bacon and the other one's spicy cream cube. My mum got large lemon pepper instead of the regular, which we got last time and we already thought it was too much and she ended up getting the big one. But we got ranch and we love the ranch and some fun stuff. So. Smoked ranch. I don't know where they keep it to be fair. We find what we were looking for, but I think they may have it in boots, so we're gonna check that later. But mum wants to get her hair dyed. Also, I didn't know they had Christian Louboutin here. Where is it? Tuesday. Look at that. Oh yeah. We don't buy luxury anymore. We had a bit of an issue before because we bought too much. And you know, we've decided to not do that anymore. It's a good idea. We know. I need something stationary wise. I need the yearly. I have a rubber. What is it I need? Diary. No, I think I have everything actually. You need a what diary? my work oh yeah yeah right yeah, no yeah. well i'm just gonna walk around i don't know what the math one looks like inside oh it's a bunch of work but mm, i'm all right i'm pretty good at math actually if i do say so myself just kidding i was doing a practice paper and i realized i'm not that smart because i was struggling i went through a crisis realized my uggs looked horrible with my outfit so i swapped with my mom and then I tuck this in a bit, but I had to let it hang to ensure my belly because my belly's really hairy right now. Very yeah. cute. Why didn't you go on the chick? <laughs> 10 out of 10. Model, oh my gosh, skinny queen. Pick that up. I can't believe she let me walk out of the house in Uggs. I had no mirror to see what my outfit looked like before I left the house. This is what we got so far. Mum got this herself this really cute skirt with this bow thing. I've got this top here with the open chest. And then she has some like shorts, but I'm not gonna try it on because one, I'm lazy, and two, I know it'll fit, so it's fine. Well, hopefully. <laughs> Mine doesn't. I came into the dressing room of HM so that I could take mirror selfies because this has the best background, except this one is a bit, I don't know. But it's so pretty and this is where I took these photos and it looks great. Um, so we were in Boots and we were looking for the sunscreen stick either from Shiseido, um, a bib, which I knew it wasn't going to be in there to be fair, or like Clarins. There's a lot of brands but they're all either not there or out of stock. Heartbroken, really. My mum was asking me why am I so into wanting a sunscreen stick because of all the good reviews guys I can't, I hate to admit it but it was TikTok I've been influenced and I'm never influenced but this is for skincare and I got a few spots, you know what I'm saying We're in Southridge's, the like ex luxury clothing section Sitting on a juicy chair and I was confused at first if it was an actual chair but I sat on it anyways I was walking by because I was trying to get to the other end of Trafford and I see someone I recognise, I'm like, is that freaking Camille? Anyways, she's one of my Instagram mutuals, one of my online friends and oh my goodness, I was shocked because I found out earlier because she said she saw me once when I was in Trafford um, 
and she said she had a job here. I didn't know what, what shop she worked in, but then by coincidence, by chance, I saw her. So then I walked in there. At first I was gonna say she wouldn't recognize me, but she did, <laughs> so. Boba aisle. This is the Oreo crush. I got a vanilla one for my brother and a mango one for my mom, all large. And I'm on my way to the food court because I'm gonna meet one of my online best mates called Victoria. And she's here today with her boyfriend and family friends. So we're going on my own. And I can literally see them. I don't know if you can see them, but I can see them. Imagine this isn't them. Victoria! <laughs> oh my god, it's Victoria and her friends. Our lovely Victoria and her friends. Um, we went to Kenji and they got some stuff. And then I was like, I probably shouldn't let my mum wait for so long. I called her about three times, she's not picked up, so I've got no clue where she is. I just gotta say, I've had a great day. It's only like 3 p.m. So guys, we are now leaving Trafford and we're going home. We were gonna get my mom to get her hair color, but she was like, they're probably gonna be shut by the time we get there. It's already four. I was so glad that I got to meet one of my best mates online that I've never met before. It's absolutely crazy, right? We've been mates for like over a year now. She actually invited me to go to her birthday and I had to sit out. At first I was like, oh my gosh, maybe I can because they said they were gonna meet in Trafford and go around Trafford and I was like, yeah. But then they were gonna go back to their house and she lives like hours away. But I can't remember, the plan just turned a little too, you live too far away from me. But I got to meet her anyways and I got to meet her friends and her two friends that they were half sisters, they were the sweetest. Obviously I didn't vlog every like that because I didn't want to make her friends uncomfortable. I didn't want to make her uncomfortable. Even though she knows how weird I am, I've literally full on cried in front of her while online, like on the phone because you know, I don't know why my online friends are also my support system. But yeah, my online friends, they know the real deal. I can't believe it's such a quinky dink that this has happened today. It just really uplifted my mood. All my days, I ah, it's so good. The next on the checklist is to meet Brittany. Really brightened up my day, brightened up my mood. You know what I mean? Super brightened. <laughs> now I've got too much energy.